President Bola Tinubu and President Nana Akufuado of Ghana yesterday called Pastor and Mrs. Shingul Wigwe, the grieving parents of the late Group Managing Director of Access Holdings PLC, Herbert Wigwe, to offer them words of comfort. Wigwe, a top banker and entrepreneur, was killed in a helicopter crash in California, the United States of America, last Friday alongside his wife, Chizoba, son and former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group PLC. Mr. Abimbola Ogumbanjo. Tinubu was gathered, spoke to Wigwe's parents through Aiboje Aig Imokwede's phone to commiserate with them and provided them very comforting words. The president made the call at 12.02 p.m. while Akufuado called Aig Imokwede at 3.17 p.m. and both offered condolences on the passing of the great African banker. Equally yesterday, former vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, former Emir of Kano, Mohamed Sunusi II, Emir of Zazao Ahmed Nuhu Bamali, and former Ogun State Governor Senator Ibikunli Amosun, alongside other associates, paid condolence visits to the parents of Herbert Wigwe. Others who signed the condolence register the residents of the Wigways in Lagos were Chairman of Boa Group, Abdul Samad Rabiu, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Chief Emeka Anyoku, former Director General of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Professor Indi Okereke Onyoku, Onyeke, former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Nia Debayo, and former Minister of Petroleum, Don Itibet. All right, Dr. Bati, um, it's today's Wednesday, and since the unfortunate news broke in, you know, across the country on Saturday, even though the death happened on um, late Friday evening, a lot of commiserations, condolences have been pouring in from world leaders and also from um, captains of industry. Your take on this story? Uh, it was Shakespeare who said that when princes die, the heavens themselves blaze forth uh, the death. That in a sense, you know, the late uh, Herbert Wigwe was a prince in terms of his accomplishments, in terms of his, uh, you know, impact on society, in terms of the scope of his uh, influence, not just uh, in Nigeria, but across Africa and the rest of the world. It is therefore not surprising that we have seen both, uh, you know, uh, the local community and the international community uh, paying tribute to him and also uh, commiserating with his family and everyone associated with him. First, it was uh, President of France, Emmanuel Macron. Yesterday, we mentioned uh, the message from the President of South Africa, Siri Ramaphosa, who described him as a major partner with uh, South Africa uh, and, you know, uh, mentioning access South Africa. And now you have President uh, Akufuado of uh, Ghana uh, phoning his partner, Aige Imokwede. And the Nigerian president, uh, President uh, Bolame Tinubu, also commiserating uh, with the parents. A very tragic loss uh, in whatever way you may look at it. And also, you know, you have virtually everybody, Kogi governor, Bayesa governor, uh, you know, also uh, speaking. Uh, Emir Sanusi Lamido Sanusi was also said to have issued a statement. Uh, former Vice President of Shibajo, Chief Emeka Yauku, uh, former Governor of Ugnu State, uh, Senator Ibikunle uh, Amosun uh, that you have mentioned, the Zenit Bank uh, family, virtually everyone. And in fact, there's no one, uh, whether you are in banking profession or you are just in society that will not be touched by the gravity of the uh, tragedy. We can only uh, continue to pray, you know, uh, that the Lord will stand by the family, grant the family the fortitude to bear this loss, and that, uh, you know, his legacy will live on, as has been promised, you know, by those who were involved in many of his uh, uh, projects. We will expect, for example, that the Wigwe University, as has been promised by the chairman of the board of trustees, uh, will be, uh, you know, will be sustained and will thrive uh, even without the uh, vision. And that Access Bank also will provide the necessary support. Uh, there's also the Access uh, uh, Legal City Marathon 
which was in fact uh, on the same day uh, that he died. We expect that that legacy will also be sustained. Uh, the same way, his support for the arts, it was, uh, the Assets Bank under his watch, was a major sponsor of uh, ArtX, which is a major event on the cultural uh, calendar uh, in Nigeria. So in addition to the many other, you know, uh, courses to which uh, he was involved and which he supported, that I think is, uh, you know, uh, what is more important. I'm sure that is uh, greatly missed, as uh, Tony Elumelu and others uh, have said in their various tributes to him. Continue to pray for the family and condole them and commiserate to them. Um, very true. This morning, I'd like to spotlight an, a very important article on the back page of the This Day newspaper this morning, uh, where uh, Madame Ijoma Nwogogo paid tribute to Mrs. Chizoba Wigwe, giving us an insight into a life that very often or very largely while she was here, um, just lived as seen as supportive of her husband. And in that interview we saw two days ago where Ojiope had a chat, a very um, in-depth and um, lifestyle chat with Dr. Herbert Wigwe. He had talked about his prized possession, or his most treasured um, possession being his um, wife. Now, in that article, she paid fine tribute, and I want to really thank her for spotlighting this woman who was said to be a pillar um, behind the colossus that we have as Dr. Herbert Wigwe, um, in her own right, an industrialist, in her, in her own right, an entrepreneur, in her own right, a woman who had, um, under the organization she had set up, employed thousands of Nigerians and impacted young children. In fact, in this article, she had mentioned the fact that what, one of the things, the threads that, um, that drew them together, that is Dr. Herbert e. M. Wigwe and Mrs. Chizoba Wigwe, was their love for children and the fact that they impacted and invested in a number of lives, especially of young people and children, and was so heartwarming and, and interesting to read just how much of an impact two individuals who've, who'd come together in marriage had done on not just Nigeria, but the continent of Africa. And this is exemplified or illustrated by the number of world leaders, including France, the you know, president of France, Emmanuel Macron, who had come out to really pay tribute to a great life lived. In fact, if it's any comfort to the loved ones, his loved ones or their loved ones whom they've left behind, it would just, it would just be to see the level of impact and lives that have been touched. Imagine receiving a phone call from the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria honoring the life and legacy of this great man. Imagine receiving phone calls from different leaders across the world just to talk about the impact that their son, their father has made in their lives is truly comforting indeed. Um, just looking at the pictures of the different visits and people who had shown solidarity and offered support at this time is very empowering. And, and that's, I mentioned that yesterday, that at this time, friendship, loyalty will speak very loudly, especially for people who knew him, who loved the family, who did business with them. At this time, a show of support to the um, aging, to the, to the um, elderly parents and also young children would speak volumes. It's been said a number of times, the fact that his legacies that he left behind would ensure that this man will not die. His memory will live in the hearts and minds of not just his loved ones, but also people that his, um, you know, this impact has. So the access warriors, as they are um, often called, the different initiatives, organizations, charity organizations that he's involved in, a life well lived. And I believe that one of the greatest lessons from this incident is the fact that it is an inspiration to others to live a worthwhile life, a life where people can look back and really see and mark the areas in which impact has been made. Truly inspirational, and we celebrate very loudly Dr. Herbert Wigwe, his wife, Mrs. Chizoba Wigwe, his son, Chizi Wigwe, Mr. Bimbola Ogumbanjo, and the two pilots who lost their lives in that unfortunate air crash. We'll move on to our next story. The Super Eagles, fresh of their impressive performance at the AFCON tournament in Ivory Coast, were warmly received by President Bola Tinubu. The president conferred national honors and awarded each member with a plot of land in the federal capital territory and a flat in recognition of their outstanding performance during the competition. 
State House correspondent Adesua Omoran reports. The national team arrives at the presidential villa after their remarkable journey in the Afghan tournament in Ivory Coast. President Bola Chinubu, joined by Vice President Kishim Shetima and top officials, commend the team's resilience and dedication, urging them to hold their heads high despite finishing second in the tournament. It is a great honor for me to receive you, the Super Eagles. Nigeria may not assert itself, but you win all the games. Find your way through the challenges, the humility, left your other clubs, and honor your country. You gave us a great excitement. The Super Eagles, who clinched a well-deserved spot in the tournament finals, showcased exceptional skill and teamwork throughout, earning the admiration of fans. As the president addressed the team, he commended their sportsmanship and emphasized the significance of their unifying impact on the nation. Winning on a soccer field is not everything you stood for. I saw you soaking. I saw you sweating. And I admire you. And trust the young, you are a true captain. You are a warrior. Oshima is a Trojan horse. <laughs> look one day, look at anybody. <laughs> I enjoy your camaraderie. I wish Nigeria politics is like that. With a touch of humor, Tinubu revealed the challenges of being physically present at the tournament due to his role as the chairman of ECOWAS. In a gesture beyond accolades, the team and officials received national honors and real estate rewards. I am the chairman of ECOWAS. I can't punch my host. <laughs> Who is the chief host of the game? I would like to conduct my side. I salute them too. As the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to all of you, I'm honoring you with national honor, members of the Order of Niger. There is a promise of one flat each for every one of you. Equally, we have been encouraged by our landlord the Minister of FCT, who had promised a, pro a plot of land for each and every player. The Minister of Sport expressed optimism, declaring that the glory days of Nigerian sports have unquestionably returned. We have shown tremendous support, incredibly so. You have shown the kind of support that no president before you has given sports. And the results are showing by the day. On behalf of the citizens, especially the young people of our great country, I extend heartfelt congratulations to you all on your remarkable performance at the recently concluded AFCON tournament. Your dedication, skill, and teamwork brought immense joy to our nation and have truly united us all. Meanwhile, Trust Ekong, the team's vice captain and most valuable player of the tournament, expresses gratitude to the president for his support. He also expresses a desire to present a trophy better than silver medals. Um, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of our team captain, Ahmed Musa, and all of the players here. Uh, we're very grateful for your support uh, that we've had uh, during this time in Ivory Coast. Yeah, we gave all, our, all we had. Um, we did our best until the final. Um, I wish that we were here carrying the trophy for you. Um, I've been very privileged to be in your presence and be in this, um, this hall two times now. In 2019, I was here with a bronze medal. Um, now we are here with a silver medal. I have two gold medal winners besides me here. And all we can promise that we'll be continue to working harder and the next time we meet, Hopefully next year we'll be bringing home a gold medal. 
As the coach and some players share their experiences, there was a strong condemnation of cyberbullying against midfielder Alexi Wobi, who has faced unwarranted criticism for his Afghan performance. I am 63 years old. It's the first time some president invited me for house. Thank you, it's an honor, a proud to me. The President of the Republic of Nigeria, Federal Republic of Nigeria, of Nigeria, invite me for come here. Thank you very much. About the, the final, you ask me. I think we did a fantastic job. Our team show very good spirit and play well. It have been my dreams, like uh, meeting the President, like for today. So nice, like I, I won't talk about my reaction because when you're looking at my face, you see that. I'm so happy today, and even my, my teammates are so happy today. This is also a booster for us to, to continue to work out, to put our nation on the map and make our, make our nation proud. And I urge a lot of Nigerians that are cyberbullying uh, players because we are also human. Sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we have a good game and we get the hype. But of course, uh, when you criticize, you have to be constructive when doing this type of things. I, I think, um, to be fair, uh, what, they, what they've done to, to Alex is, 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 is out of this world, it's not good. We really appreciate all Nigeria for the massive support that they do to us. It's not that easy. We know everyone won the cup, but that is what Allah decided that is going to happen. Yeah, for our colleague, I don't think uh, he deserves what he is getting now because uh, I think we have done our, our we have we have done our nation proud. So we we think everyone have to be proud of each of any one of us. But nowadays we saw in the social media everything. If you want to attack, just attack all the team, not individual players. So for we, we are just playing with everyone that is that have that mindset. You should just think we are women. With all attention turning to plans for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Nigerian football fans are filled with hope and enthusiasm for the team's success. Adesua, Umaruan, Arise News. National honours, plots of land, flat, a good meeting at, say, Dr. Bati with the president uh, with regards to the Super Eagles and them coming second at AFCON. Well, congratulations uh, to the Super Eagles. I think that the reception uh, at the presidential villa was well deserved. And the president of Nigeria struck all the right notes, uh, thanking them for their gallantry, for what they have done for their country on the field of play, and connecting with them, you know, letting them realize that he watched them and was uh, quite impressed at a personal level. And then the point that the president made about lessons that the super egos have been able to teach us about unity, about determination, about patriotism, uh, and about our diversity. We saw this on display uh, when Nigerians were viewing the uh, matches, either you know, in the stadium or you know, at viewing centers across uh, the country here. So very uh, good point there. And then the Nigerian government has gone a step further to give them national honor in the category of the member of the order of uh, Niger, MON. Well, what I don't understand is why you know, the MON category, which, was, which is a lower category, is always reserved for sports people and also uh, artists. I, I would like to see a day when, you know, uh, people put up this level of performance and who show such level of determination are at least upgraded to OON, uh, Officer of the Order of Niger, which is the level immediately uh, above the MON. But some people will say, well, the uh, decoration does not matter. What matters is the recognition. After all, nobody takes national honor uh, to, the, to the bank to go and uh, uh, collect uh, uh, money. And which leads me to the second point, the fact that the Nigerian government did not announce any cash reward. In other countries, in Cote d'Ivoire, which has also uh, done a similar thing for the uh, victorious uh, the elephants, Cote d'Ivoire is giving the players uh, 82,000 uh, dollars each, uh, plus an apartment of the same value. And even uh, the Bafana Bafana of South Africa, uh, who went on with a uh, bronze medal, uh, each of those players is going to get uh, $52,000 uh, each. I uh, would have loved the uh, Super Eagles to also be given uh, a, a token, in addition to the $4 million that uh, you know, the team has won for Nigeria uh, on the basis of CAF, Having increased price uh, money uh, to uh, you know for uh, to by forty percent, however, they are going to get a plot of land 
they will also get an apartment. Now, it's promise made, promise fulfilled. At the end of the semifinals match uh, against Angola, uh, Vice President Shetima uh, had uh, pointed out that uh, you know the uh, uh, the super egos uh, will get uh, will be rewarded, and that they will be compensated for their effort. So the Nigerian government has kept that promise that was made by the Vice President uh, Shetima after the semi-finals uh, uh, match. And we are hoping that this will be made available almost immediately. We saw them collecting the uh, medals uh, for, in the MON uh, uh, category. And we also understand that immediately after the ceremony, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory gave out forms that those forms uh, should be filled for the allocations for land and for the apartments. And we hope that you know, this will not be delayed through any bureaucracy. Many will remember that in the past, similar prizes given to, uh, uh, to some people who represented Nigeria well. Many will remember Onyali, the case of uh, Mary Onyali. Uh, the uh, apartments were not uh, handed over until uh, many years later. I think it was the Lagos State Government that intervened and uh, filled uh, uh, that gap. So this should not end up like that. It should be you know, made available uh, immediately. Again, you know, uh, congratulations to the Super Eagles. Uh, they got silver and, uh, you know, second position is not bad. They will have another chance in uh, Morocco uh, 20, uh, uh, 2024 uh, when they will again uh, represent Nigeria. And they made history being part of the most watched uh, tournament in the 67 year history of the African Cup of uh, Nations. About 2 billion people were said to have watched that uh, tournament in different parts of the world. Congratulations. A big congratulations to the Super Eagles and a big congratulations to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, for his show of um, leadership, especially in terms of signaling very rightly how we appreciate and recognize our sportsmen and women because I mean earlier on uh, Senator Oluwemi Tunubu, his wife and himself had hosted Asisat Oshola so it's not just with the men. It's very important to note that he gave the right things. Check his speech was hilarious, light-hearted and in the detail of it demonstrated the fact that he actively watched the matches. So he talked about um, you know uh, Osimen, talked about Lukman, not looking at anybody. That was quite um, really interesting to listen to and a humorous take on their performance in terms of him being actively involved. And then going on to give make promises which was um, immediately acted on by the FCT minister by at least taking their details in the first instance. And we will watch to ensure that these players get those houses and flats in record time. And also hopefully the promise of money, maybe it wasn't um, you know, aired publicly, perhaps a private arrangement has been made because we want to believe that they were um, duly compensated financially as well for their efforts at the African Cup of Nations, even though the outcome wasn't what a number of Nigerians expected. The truth is that the fact that the Super Eagles got to the finals was a miracle in itself, if we're being honest. And a number of people didn't actually give them a chance at the very early stages of the tournament. So the fact that they went through the, um, the first round, they went through the um, round of 16, got to quarterfinals, went through the semifinals, and got to the finals is a big deal. This is a tournament where African greats like Senegal, Cameroon had come out in the first, you know, very surprisingly. Then we should praise our men. We should praise the Super Eagles for how far they went. And I'm glad that the president has led on this. And congratulations on their national honor. And I'm glad. Finally, that the issue of cyberbullying was also brought to the fore as well. We need to stop this. We cannot demoralize the effort of these super egos against all odds and you know circumstances that are not very favorable in some instances to go ahead and still do very well, even if it's, it wasn't up to the liking of a lot of Nigerians. Finally, I'd say this. Senator John Eno had praised the president for being very supportive of football. I hope that support will extend to other areas of sport in Nigeria. We have potential in tennis, we have potential in swimming, we have potential in basketball, a lot of potential which I believe not just the sports minister but the president himself can take the lead in transforming sports in Nigeria.